All right, let's talk about Bloom's taxonomy. In 1956, Benjamin Bloom laid out a step-by-step -step process by which he believed all learners learned. It became known as Bloom's taxonomy, and even though it's fairly old, it contains extremely relevant information for us today. There are six steps to Bloom's taxonomy. Knowing, or knowledge, comprehending, comprehending or comprehension, applying or application, analyzing or analysis, synthesizing, and evaluating. We know today that these six levels overlap and sometimes some are skipped or sometimes we start toward the end and go back to the beginning. Okay, So don't get caught up on thinking that, oh, you start here and you automatically go all the way. No, actually sometimes you start with the evaluation because it it helps build in bridges for your brain, all right? Anyway, I propose that any teacher can make a great lesson about anything simply by using all six steps of Bloom's taxonomy. Unfortunately, the majority of textbooks and of lessons stop at the application stage, okay? Most books stop right about here, okay? Um, they never take the student into the higher thinking levels. How can you tell if you, in your classes, are including the higher thinking skills in your lessons? Well, in ESL or EFL, it's pretty easy. Can your student use English to accomplish a task outside of the classroom? If the answer is yes, then you are including the higher thinking skills in your lessons, whether you realize it or not. If the answer is no, then you're probably stopping at application and the student has not gone through enough of the learning steps to be able to do it on their own outside of class. All right. So, I don't know, the majority of our classes stop right in here because that's what testing is, right? Um, that's why I love projects because they are all up in this area up here. Okay. How can we be sure that we're providing activities to take every student through all six levels of bloom? Well, you, there are process verbs that can be used. Okay, um, it, and that makes and it makes it pretty easy. So Bloom said that there's several verbs that relate to each level. If we use one or more of those verbs in our instructions to the students then we can be sure that we've created an activity at the related level of blooms. So the key important part is using the key words here. Okay, so under know, explain, show, list, you use those type of words and you're getting to know. Now the problem is up in here sometimes the words overlap. See, organize under apply and organize under synthesize. It depends on how you have them organized. <laughs> on whether it's going to be synthesis or, or, or application. So it could be low-level application even though you say use the word organize in your instructions. So sometimes you have to be careful about that. And basically the trick is to create stairs for the students. So you don't start them up here. Remember that crash in I plus one? You don't start in the middle and go forward or, or try to jump over a step. Um, you want to create stairs where they're going up each step at the time. Now since it's uphill, there will be some exertion. All right, There's going to be some work. It's not going to be totally easy for them. But if we keep the steps carefully measured in order to gently stretch the student, then they will not be faced with leaps or major climbs to acquire the knowledge. All right, so we are going to apply Bloom's taxonomy to one of the listening websites in your, one of your assignments for this module.